Good morning and welcome again to my study on this Wednesday morning. I was thinking last week how fortunate we are at the Abbey. It's a beautiful building, always has been and has this amazing aura for me. It's really close to where God is. And then we've been lucky enough to have a brilliant new organ, which I think adds to the Abbey. The pipes look beautiful where they are. And the organ console, the keyboard part of it, really is lovely. And you may have noticed that it has moved. It's moved from one side of the Abbey to the other, and that's because it allows the organist a better idea of how the organ's sounding in the Abbey itself. The other side, it was a bit um, behind pillars and things, and now it's much better. And we have been really fortunate because what do you need when you have a new organ? Well, you need an organist. And of course, we had to find an organist because John Witherspoon left us to go back to Warwickshire. And Matthew Martin, who'd been helping us with the installation of our new organ, came to our rescue, first of all, and he helped us in the first few difficult and challenging weeks when the organ was being tuned as we would say I'm sure that's not the right word but that's uh, what I use and he was brilliant and then he had to leave us so we found Paul Trepty who's been with us for about three months and is leaving us in uh, at Easter on Easter day that's his last service but again having advertised we were really fortunate to have a good choice of permanent organists and James McDowell Scott will be joining us just after Easter as our permanent organist. And there's lots about him in the weekly bulletin and the monthly bulletin. And we're really looking forward to him joining us. But the real issue for me was that, of course, it really marked out, even if you've got wonderful buildings and wonderful things, that it's the people that make a difference. No good having a lovely new organ if it can't be played. So you need people. And then I thought, well, it's not just organs that that's true about, it's organisations. See what I did there, organ and organisation? That need people as well. And the Abbey is a huge organisation. It's only a parish church, but with all the things that go on, you really wouldn't know that. And to make sure that it runs as an organisation, we need people. And again, we are so fortunate, we are blessed with people who do all sorts of things. I had to smile again at the bulletin this week because we are looking for brass cleaners. I always thought when I first came to the Abbey how wonderful the brasses were and I never saw anyone cleaning them. And then one day I walked in and there were these two ladies busily cleaning the brass, really polishing it up and it really makes a huge difference. And from those little things, you know, it doesn't take long, I'm told. I've never cleaned a brass in my life. And those little things that make such a huge difference. The coffee after the service on Sunday mornings. Time for us to chat, to meet together, to share things. Wouldn't happen unless we had people to serve it, to make it, to clean up afterwards. And all of those other things we do at the Abbey. We have an amazing group of volunteers who do it. And we still need them. Uh, the, the brass ladies need more. Well, it didn't be ladies. The brass people need more people to clean the brass. We need more people to help with coffee and teas. We need lots of things. But there is, I can tell you, a real joy when you do things at the Abbey. Because it's what makes the Abbey the Abbey. The Abbey is a wonderful organisation. The organ is wonderful, but both of those things need people. So, if you're not helping and you can help, please do. If you are helping already, great and thank you so much. But more importantly, if we are giving of our time to the Abbey in any of its forms, then that's the way we can really praise and worship God. It brings people together it allows all to worship and it makes the Abbey the wonderful building, the wonderful creation and the wonderful, wonderful word of God that it is.